In third place, I'd like to invite on stage Arafay Sayed Arabi. Uh, and I'm going to present to you with a prize for £300. Thank you very much for entering the competition. Thank you. £500 here for someone who's not here. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. Ibrahim Hassan is in second place. You're definitely not here. Are you hiding, Ibrahim? Or... Ah, you're not hiding. Ibrahim. You came for your £500. Pounds. <laughs> Thank you very much for entering the competition. Thank you very much. And in first place, with a thousand pounds stuffed in this envelope, is Kera Ali Kayat, who's come out to stage. Let's get this correct. Is that it? This is Bella Kara. Hi, Bella. Salaam alaikum, Kara. Are you busy? No, I'm just. Because <laughs> it's not. Out. Okay, because I can keep it if you want. If you're too busy to take it. Okay. Hi, <laughs> Here you go. Thank you. Can you recite your poem for us? Yeah, I can. But I just like my sister to help me read it. Is that right? That's no problem. Okay. Take it away. Exalted is the name in which we shall begin, found engraved upon our hearts and our souls within. The Almighty Lord with whom we are removed from sin, the beneficent and merciful Allah closer to us than our closest of kin. We testify in his oneness, he alone with no partner, not embodied thrice, the Holy Ghost, the Son, nor the Father. The gracious, the mighty, the majestic, the everlasting heart karma, the all-knowing King, our perpetual guide to the hereafter. But how does one even begin to comprehend his names, and by whose right did they our troubled hearts tame? Which man embodied them, and thus knew no shame? sent as a mercy to mankind, and thus, immortal he became. The self-same year Abraha to Kaaba his elephants brought, and to destroy the holy house and Allah's worship he sought, Taha was born, and with him the new decree of Islamic thought, with which his piety and trustworthiness the people's hearts he bought. The messenger of mercy, our treasured Yasin was orphaned up for, with no father, no mother, he arrived at Abdul Muttalib's door. Then under the roof of Abu Talib, justice in Jahiliyyah he sought to restore, praying that with time his people would be corrupt no more. Alone he stood, the teacher of teachers, the seal of prophethood, with a message that would help them understand what they misunderstood, taught them what they shouldn't and should, what they couldn't and could, stopped them worshipping stones and wood, improved humanity for good. The Qur'an says he was the best of mankind, always first to help the poor and the blind. And side of the in him they confined, when asked friend or foe, none were declined. Mercy and compassion of the purest kind, traits of a Muslim clearly defined. City of knowledge with the greatest mind, so Jibril told him read and the mission assigned. Betrayed by his own plan, the hatred to Medina began. A city marred by failure of man, he was welcomed as a saviour that can. Established a modern community, he ran Islam's hope for humanity with a plan. Slavery and injustice he banned, following the principles of the Holy Qur'an. For people lived in ignorance and shame, burying their doors alive and humane, women mistreated and sold in vain, slavery and racism across the terrain, when Allah's most beloved came, through all the abuse and the blood and the pain, unswayed he maintained, never did he complain, enlightened the world of the Almighty's reign, enlightened the world of the Almighty's name, no gain but for us to avoid the eternal flame, his message too beautiful for the ignorant brain, so he would pelt stones on a target he became. But again he came with his virtuous claim, attempting, a attempting to guide us onto the righteous lane. Through his compassion, a thousand were swaying. On the Quran, he would humbly explain. His, his wife, with love and respect, he'd treat. Importance of women's rights, he'd always repeat. And heaven's under your mother's feet, so appreciate her and ensure your loss concrete. Mercy to mankind, he'd never lie or cheat. If you heard someone's hungry, he'd feed them and not eat. Always smiling, he'd be the first to greet. And today I'm a Muslim, so his mission he complete. Right. 